All right, so I'm here with uh, Francesca, and we are coming back from a Buddhist monastery, Namo Buddha, where we spent the night last night, and heading back to Kathmandu. I am live from San Marcos La Laguna on Lake Atitlan and since a few people enjoy my video in Milan I decided to also show you where I live and where I will be living for another couple of weeks I've been here for about eight months this is a beautiful beautiful hippie village on Lake Atitlan and I'm gonna show you the streets and I'm gonna show you some main events about this place and some of the nice characters that live here and why they live here and what they like about living here Okay, here is the main hippie street of San Marcos. It's the main road I actually live 20 meters away from here. And there is some really cool graffiti art on here. A lot of artists, a lot of people showing their, like offering their services such as Reiki and many other things. We're gonna walk on the street a little bit. Hello. Hola, hola señora. Buenas tardes. Si, lo sé, luego se lo compro señora. Buenas tardes. Actually, the place we're approaching, which is Yoga Metaphysica Meditation Center, it's um, an hermetic and metaphysic center that was created in the 80s by this really powerful woman called Chati. And since that place has opened, it attracted many more healers and shamans and wizards and artists in this beautiful village and since then it's been populated by a variety of great people this has been my house and will be my house for the next two weeks so I live next to the pyramids which is pretty awesome hey Nice thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm going to Eagles Nest. Come. Hola. Welcome. I say Ooh, amigo. Luego, luego. This is a nice restaurant. Hello. It's a small pueblo, so I know everyone here. Um, so this is a really nice restaurant. It's called Fe, and they have nice food and pizza. As you can see, this is a long street. We're like traveling. Hey, Robin! Hola. Hola! And this is my favorite vegan place in town. It's called Bujo. They have amazing, delicious food there. So definitely check it out when you come here. Owned by an Israeli and a Japanese girl. <laughs> Easy. And so, yeah, here the street continues with more shops and restaurants. <laughs> Hola! Hola! <laughs> And this is the health food store that we have in this town. A lot of amazing stuff, organic, vegan things. Actually, this street has everything. And this is another amazing vegan place called Samsara, which I very much enjoy going to as well. Tattoos. So it's hard to walk without like not missing places because it's very condensed you see like massage places and hotels and everything is on the street so now we are heading to Eagle's Nest where I'm gonna talk to the owner which is called Greg he's a French man and he has been opening this place a while ago and this place is super famous for parties and aesthetic dances and it has an amazing view on the lake so I can't wait to talk to him about why he's there and everything here we are that was just a short tuk tuk ride the way to Eagle's Nest is very interesting because Eagle's Nest is like one of the most famous places on Lake Atitlan on, at San Marcos but the way there it's really tricky actually you have to go through some stuff to get there so I'm gonna show you Hola niños. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Qué bueno. Uh. Clearly quite a few people bother them. <laughs> Hello. 
and from here I see a little arrow there so I feel like we're almost there so I'll take the left <laughs> I think that I have to go over there now <laughs> This is a tiny passage to get there. <laughs> wow. It's very tiny. <laughs> but we're almost there. I can feel it. Okay. Finally, we almost reached Eagle's Nest. That's the entrance. Finally, we are here. Eagle's Nest. This is the famous Eagle's Nest. They have a party starting at 4.30. And this is the view on Lake Atilan, which is pretty epic from here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's so far away. to have a small interview with Greg, which is the owner of Eagle's Nest. So we're gonna know how he found this place and why he chose Lake Atitlan to set up with this spot. So, here Francesca, this is where it all started. My little cabin, Marquita Terre and San Marcos. How long ago was that? This is beautiful. Um, about eight years ago. Eight years ago? Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. And at the time, it was not about building a retreat space. I had no idea. I just wanted a little cabin in this community that I connected with the most, and that's it. And why among all the villages at the lake you chose San Marcos? Why San Marcos? I did the Pyramids course in 2007, which is really an introduction to spirituality. You really have to approach it with an open mind. There's a lot of metaphysics and, you know, talking like other dimensions, other worlds. Yoga and meditation practice, a month of that. And since that, because I was living in Antigua, mm -hmm. I was coming regularly and started making friends. And I, I really related with these people. And then a few years later, I decided I need to have a little spot here. <laughs> and that's how you got your cabin. And that's how I bought this land. I got my cabin and a big garden. So, I'm here with Greg, which is the owner from Eagle's Nest. Hi. Hello. And he accepted to do this interview. I've been uh, wanted to ask him why he is here and why he decided to open this place, which I found beautiful. I've been coming here for, to aesthetic dances and different workshops. And I love this place. And one of the things I want to ask Greg is why? Why he created Eagle's Nest? and why he chose, among all the villages, San Marcos. What, what is special about San Marcos? I want to know that because all of us live here because they feel different about this place. It's not like any other place on the lake, and, but everyone has his own reason for it. I first came to San Marcos 14 years ago when I did a uh, spiritual course at the Pyramids, which was basically a one-month introduction to yoga, introduction to spirituality and meditation practice. And since then, I was coming regularly and grew an affinity for the town and for the friends I made here, as I lived in Antigua, not so far. Mm -hmm. That was the beginning. That was this, this cabin, my little, my little hideout, uh, mm -hmm. and a huge garden. It's beautiful. Um, Eagle's Nest, everything comes in steps. Eagle's Nest it was the answer to, one, doing something intentional and something of service to the world. And the, um, the event that then led to Eagle's Nest becoming is me finding a passion in acro yoga, acrobatic yoga. Oh, that's how it started. And asking myself, what do I need to do for the best acro yogis to come play? And so then the rest unfolded. Oh, so the static dance came after. Is the ecstatic dance, I had no idea I was building a dance floor. Oh. <laughs> I was building a platform for maybe yoga, but I was more focused on acro yoga. Why acro yoga? Because the pillars of acro yoga actually still hold true for all the other things that are happening. It's about community, it's about 
communication with others. It's about a personal practice. It's about going beyond your own limitations and doing things that you thought were not possible. Graciousness, trust of yourself, trust of people you've just met to physically mm -hmm. keep you safe. It's about so many things that are core to human values and that in this world are somewhat eroded in society. So Greg, I've been meaning to ask you why of all these villages on Lake Atitlan you chose this place? Is it just because the pyramids, the course you've done, or is it because you found something in this village that you don't find in other places on Lake Atitlan or for any other reason? Because I feel like there's so many people living in this specific village and the type of people that are here, I'm very different from the type of people that I see in any other village. And I wonder what it is that attracts us to this vortex and doesn't want to make us leave, you know? And so this is one of the things I've been wanting to ask people. Sure, analyzing why this village, I'm convinced that pyramids is what set the motion going with what's one of the things that are special uh, with this town. The pyramids being an intentional space, inspiring people to connect with themselves and unblocking them so that they can also be of service ultimately. You know, spirituality is not just about meditating in your room, it's actually bringing the goodness to the world. And so by being here, that started creating an ecosystem of healers and people who had done the course or who, who were attracted to that energy. Of course, the lake itself has its own magic and energy. But as you say, not all the village have this. In fact, some villages don't have international communities so much. San Marcos has quite a large one, as do other villages. But the industry, if we're going to call it that here, is one of uh, self-exploration, well-being. Yes. Um, and so it attracts those kinds of people and those kinds of activities. And that's what I found attractive in the quality of the people that I met here, which is why I wanted to start living here. Yeah, I felt the same as I was explaining before in my um in my explanation as I was showing the town, I, I was saying the same, like this pyramids have been founded in the 80s and then they kind of open up the energetic vibration of this place, you know, and, and then people start coming after the pyramids were founded. And this place compared to San Pedro and other ones have a very specific energy. And even the energy that you have or experience in San Pedro or other parts is different. So I do think that a big part of it is the pyramids for sure. There's, there's one thing that uh, even as I was spending my first days and weeks here, um, I felt like uh, this is a playground for adults. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I was also seeing uh, people are building their dreams here, just the, the way houses are built, because there's no code. You can build a house just as you want to build it. Make sure you build it well enough so <laughs> it's, it stands up because yeah. we also have earthquakes here. Uh, but that was very inspiring. The, the, the houses uh, were, 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 were built with, with charm, with you could feel that the person's desires and dreams in the house. And that, and that was very enabling of saying, I want to be part of that. Yeah. I want one of them for myself. I want to build that dream, start building that dream. Yeah, there is more freedom that allows you more movement of action, right? Here, it's true. I felt the same also in Peru, for sure. Yeah, there is this feeling that everything can be still possible, you know? It's not been done yet, there is still... And what are your p future projects for Eagle's Nest? Do you want to do something else or? So right now we're in your, we're going to start your five of operations. And right now I'm, the space is still being built, um, but it, it's already there and it's already easy to see what it is now. And it has direction. Uh, right now I'm building a management team so that I can step out and so that it runs itself. Future projects. There's a lot of ideas. There's so many artists, uh, music artists and artistic people. So one is building a recording studio, maybe starting a music label, building an online learning platform that also fosters community and that enables community to transact with itself. A kind of Facebook that leaves most of the network value in the network. So, so that's a lot more enabling for people to transfer value, even if they're being paid but people transferring value to one another is, uh, is, is what I feel that, you know, the some of the next steps and where I'll be putting my, my mind and brainstorming as to what could that look like.